Uh, Iran police arrest 30 at private yoga class. 30 people taking part in a yoga session have been arrested during a private class in Iran, reports suggest. They were detained in a private residence in the northern city of Gorgon, where they are apparently taking part in mixed class. So what they mean by mixed class here, by the way, is mixed gender. A local justice department official, Masoud Salalimi, uh, said the instructor who was also arrested had no license to run the class and had been advertising the event on Instagram. He also said that those taking part uh, were wearing inappropriate outfits and had behaved inappropriately. What does that mean, behaving up? Like, what did they, like, they stretched? Like, what is that? What is that the that, That's what I wanted to go ahead and, and bring this up uh, because our report didn't mention it directly. But men and women in Iran are, first of all, not supposed to, or not allowed to uh, mix genders in sports. And yoga is considered a sport. And yoga in Iran is, is actually, like, completely, it's, it's bad. Like, you're not supposed to be having any yoga class at all. So not only was this guy having a yoga class, but it was with men and women. So these women were dressed in yoga clothes, which apparently is now, all of a sudden, just terrible. And uh, since they sexy, were yeah. somebody with men doing this stuff, doing this terrible yoga stuff, that's what they're referring to as acting inappropriately. See, if he just, he should have, if he didn't want to become a laughing stock, he should have just said, you know, this had no license. But by, by the way, there's many other businesses there that are running without a license, but they're just picking on this because it's just, you know, a bunch, of, a bunch of women in tights and they're like, yeah, no. But he basically, but... To do it properly, to not properly, to, if you wanted to get away with closing this without people making fun of it, he should have just stuck on, he had no license. Like, that's the excuse, that's the basic, basic excuse you give for shutting down anything that is anti-Islamic. Right. You don't, you don't mention that it because, it, oh, so he specifically said inappropriate outfits. Yeah, this, has, this is how you become viral online, by saying that we shut it down. So... Tip to officials in Iran, if you want to close down a business because it's too sexy for you, don't mention that. Don't say people have inappropriate outfits or they're stretching in, you know, in ways that is making you feel something that you don't want to feel. Just say you have no business license. But I, I guess then they could go get a, get a business license. So then that's a problem. Yeah, uh, and then, then it would be a problem. So, yeah. But it's just, it's yeah. absurd. Yeah. They shouldn't. Is your is that true? I didn't know yoga. You you know something more than I do about Iran. Yoga is illegal in Iran. Just just yoga, even if you're not wearing something, you know, um, tight. You could still still illegal. Yoga just by itself. Um. No, I don't know if it's. I don't think that's illegal. I don't think illegal. yoga is illegal. Yeah. Um. I don't think they have a problem with yoga itself as long as you're not wearing something. They do right. consider it un-Islamic. So this article is saying while there have been public gatherings of yoga fans uh, in the country over the past few years, underground or un-Islamic classes, which are promoted across social media, are frowned upon. So, so, so that's the thing. Pu the, the yoga itself is not the issue. It's the fact that they're wearing tight clothes and stretching in weird ways. Right. That's the issue because if that was a because I'm, I I remember people in parks they were doing yoga and they, but did you know that professional level yoga teaching is banned in Iran? Professional? How do they define what? What? I didn't know that. Is it? Yeah. So if you if you're actually trying to teach professional <laughs> yoga, like like professionally, you're trying to teach yoga. Okay. Um, doesn't so matter. So you can be like you're... stretching and be like, okay, I, it's. Banned in the country. No, no, you could be like the next move makes this too professional, so we're just not gonna <laughs> we're gonna go to level nine. But I can just, show it's you the class of all down with <laughs> That's all it is, so it's not professional. So weird. Everyone can do it. Th um, <laughs> wait, so what was the punishment? They arrested them. Did they go to jail or something? You know, um, so they detained the group in the house um, and they'd actually been monitoring the residents for some time hmm. uh, before making arrests. So they did arrest them. Um, right. John, uh, John is saying seems like quite the stretch, but I'm just, <laughs> yes. Sam is saying you guys, the devil. I think the satanic temple should take over yoga. If some more people say, 
Um, another person saying in India, Muslims said they are living in what? I don't understand what this comment has to do with any of this. Uh, so, Pam is saying, do they think yoga is demonic? There was a Christian guy who said that yoga is demonic. I haven't heard Muslims yet say. Maybe they have. I haven't heard that many Muslims claim yoga is demonic. But I do notice that a lot of Muslim preachers st start learning stuff from Christian pre preachers sometimes. And when there's a, ever a fear mongering that is becoming popular among Christian social media, they might start to, uh, you know, fail, like look into it, see like, hey, maybe we should call yoga demonic or like, um, you know, devilish that that should bring some attention to us. So, I mean, I, there, I do, I do see them copying each other a lot. They do pay attention to what the other social na uh, media narratives is. So I wouldn't be surprised if some Muslim preachers stop, start saying that. But so far, I haven't seen any. Let us know if you've seen that. Um, another godless atheist is saying, I know some conservative Christians see yoga as satanic ritual because it comes from Hinduism, which is apparent, which apparently is satanic. Yep. Chuck is saying if it is also. If it is so dangerous, why do they advertise it on Instagram? Um, you know, in Iran, it's really you have to get really unlucky for somebody to start paying attention to what you're doing on Instagram and wanted to make an example of you. Like there are a lot of, you know, girls and women in in in, in Iran that live in Iran and they have like dance on Instagram and post their videos and everybody can see them. So you just have to be, and there's so, so many thousands of them out there that you just have to, it's kind of like winning a lottery, but the opposite. You really have to be unlucky for somebody when, you know, have the time and energy to uh, wanting to come after you specifically. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.